Fantastic. Am I doing something wrong here or what? <laughs> Let's look at the current temperatures, and we're going to be looking at in the plain states. Let's take a look at your forecast. Oh, motor mouth here. And it's kind of a quiet time right now. Nothing going hot. Okay, and good morning. Here's the rainfall. It's your western states. And in the northwest, we've been talking about an upper level low, and it's going to continue. One first. And we'll put the satellite uh, picture. Up. It's now about 23 and a half minutes past the hour in the nope. day, looking like a pretty. And we'll first of all show you what's going on. And this is a warm and sticky one over the southeast. And today is a day very. Thank goodness, things have been relatively cool. Digital radar. Everyone, and welcome to the Weather Channel. I'm Cheryl Lemke, and we're going to check out your Friday forecast right now. And even though things were shaping up quite nicely across the Northeast over the past few days, it won't be quite so nice. Alongside Vince Miller, Vince back with a forecast for you coming up very shortly. Huggy tonight. And his jet stream view, and let you know what we think the weather is likely to be doing as we take you on through the weekend. Primarily, the high heat is going to continue to be suppressed off towards the south. In the United States, again, there are some thunderstorms providing lots of electricity. Where, again, for the most part, we aren't looking at all that active of weather. Oh, some showers and thunderstorms. Day right now, I'll show you some of the soggy weather that continues to plague. Okay, asked, and let's take a look at it first in the north. Sometimes, hey, sometimes we do, but, you know, it's country this morning. And we see that the clouds are more. It's a good morning forecast. And as you wake up in the northwest, seeing again is going to be a dandy one throughout the southwestern United States. But in the northwest, we have. The current map first. And uh, okay, thanks, Marshall. And as we go upstairs, a look at this afternoon. Focus in on Florida as you may ask. Weather forecast for Los Angeles. Clouds starting out, but lots of sunshine across the country. First of all, I want to take a look at the composite of all the radars, let you know where the rain is taking place across the United States. This season, we've been... Back of my neck, getting dirt and gritty. Spin down, isn't it a pity? Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city. All around, people looking half dead, walking on the sidewalk, harder than a match here. Yeah. Now it's a different world. Go out and find a girl. Come on, come on, if that's all right. Robeson offers all those suffering from summer's heat these words of comfort. Robeson's high-velocity stand fans are now available at fine stores everywhere. On our business travel forecast. Take a look, first of all, at the theater. You can see it tonight on CBS or watch comedy on NBC or 2020 on ABC. But be sure to get this weekend's forecast right here. Report. Things really haven't changed the last couple of days, that is to say. I'm Cheryl Lemke along with Keith Westerlich, and he'll be up in just a few moments. We'll check out your forecast right now. First Tomorrow we'll afternoon, we'll go ahead and show you the rest. Mm -hmm. Now, here's Bonnie McLaughlin with some fresh ideas for salad. Salads make some of my favorite hot weather meals. That's because they're not only easy on the cook, but they're packed with all the nutrition of fresh produce. Make sure the salad greens you serve are at the peak of freshness and food value by buying just a week's worth at a time. They'll store well at home for another week if kept cold, moist, and undamaged. First, give the greens a quick washing. Soaking the leaves makes them limp, so instead, rinse away dirt and grit under cold running water. Then dry the leaves. A salad spinner does the job quickly and without bruising. Pack the dry greens loosely in plastic food bags, press out extra air, seal, and store in the crisper drawer of the refrigerator. When preparing the salad, you can cut or tear the leaves, but torn leaves hold their nutrients better and are slower to discolor than cut leaves. Dress the salad at the last minute, add garnishes for taste and crunch, and serve up a cool creation at the peak of freshness. 
Mmm, this salad is unbelievable. It's great. It's un... Bacos? It's even better. Bacony Bacos makes every bite better. Welcome you to the Weather Channel, and then we'll show you the satellite. Situation, view. first of all. If you miss Rocky III at the theater, you can see it tonight on CBS or watch comedy on NBC or 2020 on ABC. But be sure to get this weekend's forecast right here. As we examine the situation. The most on the Weather Channel. Every night for five nights, one lucky viewer will win seven consecutive room nights at any U.S. Holiday Inn hotel. And every night for five nights, 50 viewers will win one of these Holiday Inn gifts. Sports towels, umbrellas, gym bags, or brass do not disturb signs. And every winner every night gets a sunshade for the car. Watch the Weather Channel starting July 6th for the Daily Mystery City. Phone in your answers nightly, and you could be a winner in the Holiday Inn Mystery City contest. At about 15 in front of the top of the air, I'm Dennis Smith along with Jeff Morrow. The old current temperatures are... Boy, is it hot in much of the southwest. Heat is beginning to build in the southeast. Tonight, MacGyver retrieves a map to a sunken treasure, and part two of The Blue and the Gray airs on USA. Be sure to watch tomorrow's forecast on the Weather Channel. I think the weather is likely to be doing lots of green over the north. And the son of the heartland of America, Vince Miller. <laughs> rather quiet and eventful, at least for the Atlantic hurricane season thus far. Indeed, a rather soupy night out there. Many areas on Newfoundland, if we're lucky. Now, in the meantime, we're going to have to contend with a lot. What's it going to be like in your neck of the woods? Well, let's find out. In a hurricane season, we're still not seeing any seen for you. We'll show More you. great outdoor cooking ideas from Rich Davis, brought to you by Kingsford Charcoal. what the weather's going to be doing and a crow look is going to be like. Ordinary videotape can't survive today's sophisticated VCRs. Features like fast forward, freeze frame, and high speed scanning start destroying your tape from the very first play. So if you've got a sophisticated VCR, get a tape that can stand up to it. Maxell for sophisticated equipment. This is John Doyle, and this is your local forecast. Prepared from information collected in your area. Satellite transmitted only to your area on the Weather Channel. Bill Keneally and Kevin Raymer with you, looking at the projection into your Thursday. And if anything, we'll look at some pretty nice weather for the Northwest. However, we'll see maybe a little more cloud cover tomorrow and a better bet for some showers. Maybe reaching up toward Mount St. Helens up there in Washington. 
But around Spokane, they'll be hot once again, about 88. I think they were 95 on Wednesday. So the trend is back to more respectable temperatures and maybe a shower there by Friday. Looks like a hot day on the shores of Lake Mead, 104 Las Vegas, La Jolla, San Diego, California, though. Uh, nippy by comparison is 72. And once again, they'll be looking at morning fog, then a lot of sunshine, kind of their phone-in forecast. And if you're up there on the uh, Sierra, you may see a shower, say around Bishop and up toward uh, Mono Lake and up around Lake Tahoe. Now into Texas, hard to find any cloud cover, uh, let alone rain if you're out by El Paso or the Big Bend National Park. However, Louisiana, you may see more rain. And once again, hopefully not the uh, severe weather. Had some damage earlier today out there the east side of Baton Rouge. But again, still a possibility of showers. It'll be warm, 90 at New Orleans, 95 in the Big D, Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, 84 Rapid City. A pretty good day, though, in the Black Hills as that rain ought to diminish. As Kevin mentioned, some rain earlier tonight in Minnesota and uh, South Dakota. That rain will be edging on down to Iowa, so not the real sunny day as we had on Wednesday in Des Moines. Now the rain, and plenty of it. Around the uh, Scioto River in Ohio, they've had flooding tonight. Plenty of rainfall. Marion, Ohio, better than four inches. And they'll be looking at more rain, and especially way on down there by like Marietta and up toward Altoona, PA, Morgantown. Watch out for the deluge. Now Chicago, we'll call it partly cloudy, 81, maybe a shower by afternoon. Washington area, 83, and very, very muggy. Dries out a little bit, though, in far northern New York, but in Albany, no rain today, but by Thursday, that rain edging back up the Hudson Valley and more rains coming into the uh, Boston area by nightfall. While down the Southland, again, scattered showers are definitely going to be the rule. And temperatures ought to be warm, a lot of mugginess. Down in Florida, probably more rain than you had today as we have a tropical wave coming on across from the Bahamas. So kind of a soggy day down in Broward and Dade County. Now you can have your own official rain slicker from the Weather Channel for only $12.95. It's tough vinyl with a soft cloth backing. It has a hood and the Weather Channel logo. Order small, medium, large, extra large, or extra, extra large. To get the Weather Channel rain slicker fast, call 1-800-451-0303. 1-800-451-0303. Or send $12.95 plus $3 postage with your size to rain slicker, post office box 724554, Atlanta, Georgia 30339. Order now. Michigan, where you can experience all the seasons. Touched by four great lakes, it has a geographically split personality. The Upper Peninsula has rugged North Country beauty, islands, lakes, and bays, where January's mean average is 16 degrees, and July a refreshing 65. In the Lower Peninsula, where you'll find the Detroit area, there's farmlands, modern cities, museums, and history. Here, January's mean average is 26, and for July, 74. So enjoy this diversified vacation. Land. In winter, heavy snows mean fine skiing. Ice sports are available on inland lakes and channels, and there are miles of snowmobile trails. Spring and autumn are splendid in Michigan's many parks, forests, and hiking pathways. In this state, you're never far from water for swimming, sailing, boating, canoeing, or fishing. So whether it's the peaceful outdoors or bustling city crowds, Michigan has it all, so savor the sights. 3,800 flights a day pass through the hands of controllers at the Denver Regional Air Traffic Control Center. But since 1984, they've been getting some special help. An experimental workstation called Profs has been giving meteorologists there an extra edge in forecasting weather conditions. Conditions that could cause expensive delays or disastrous plane crashes. Till now, the FAA had been footing the bill for it with funds earmarked for experiments. But the one near Denver works so well, the FAA says it's no longer experimental, so they can't continue to pay for it. Denver's meteorologist in charge will be sorry to I see it go. We're in a uh, Boeing 767 uh, era, and we're trying to uh, support it in a DC-3 fashion where it comes to weather information. Though the FAA says they hope to install profs in every regional control center, they have to pull the plug on the one in Denver July 1st. For the Weather Channel, I'm Colleen Wine.
honey, there's something I'd like you to sleep on tonight. Oh? I think we should apply for Union Fidelity's Guaranteed Life Plus, an insurance plan that pays top dollar cash benefits. I call their toll-free number. For free information, it came in the mail today. Hmm. They say that folks like us, between 45 and 74, can't be turned, be turned down for any reason. Any physical exams? Nope. No health questions either. Do we really need any more coverage? This says an insurance policy bought 10 years ago has lost over half its value. I had no idea. Will this insurance plan help? Yep. And it covers both of us. It must be expensive. Wrong, dear. It's available at $4.95 a month, and that rate will never increase. I won't have to sleep on this. Let's mail the application right away. If you're age 45 to 74 for $4.95 a month, you too can be protected. Call toll-free 1-800-237-7900. That's 1-800-237-7900. Operators are standing by. traveling conditions at home and the forecast for your town in the next few minutes on the Weather Channel. Three two five three hundred. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Two five three hundred. In 1986, there were over 64,000 fires that destroyed over 1 million acres of valuable land. Weather conditions like humidity, wind, lightning, and rainfall amounts play a critical role in affecting the potential danger for fire. Watch Weekend Outlook for the Fire Danger Report, detailing conditions in your area and across the country, each Wednesday through Saturday on the Weather Channel. your holiday weekend report. We're home today for the 4th of July weekend, and here's our business travel Thanks. report. And now, your holiday weekend report. In parts of the country, July. Well, simply put, a hurricane forms when a large quantity of warm, moist air rises from the ocean, condenses in the clouds and rain, adding heat to the atmosphere, and that sets it into motion. Well, the Weather Channel will cover tropical storms and hurricanes in a number of different ways. First of all, there's the tracking, and we aim to track these from the very early stages of development, which might be as far east as the west coast of Africa. We'll do this by analyzing the in-flight reconnaissance reports of satellite data, the coastal radars, as well as looking at reports from coastal weather stations and ships at sea. We also provide local warnings for affected areas. We air hurricane safety tips, and we constantly update information during our 24-hour live coverage. Well, of course, we air the tropical update every hour during the hurricane season. Our staff and forecasters and I study the tropics constantly to detect any signs of development. We want to keep the viewers aware and informed. And now, your holiday weekend report. It's with good advice from Mac the Mechanic. It's well, for cutting please. summer cooling bills. travel forecast. Your health. And now, your holiday weekend report. Now let's put out smoking materials. We're going to Honolulu. Segment of this hour with us on your biz weekend travel forecast. So the rains continue and the flooding continues. Serious flooding problems now around Mansfield, Ohio, 
400 people evacuated from their homes because of the severe flooding underway. Some cleanup began today after the heavy rains yesterday. However, the cleanup often hindered by on-again, off-again rain showers. And we had more thunder showers back into northern Ohio uh, throughout the day today. And so it looks like a very wet 4th of July weekend, no doubt about it. Stay tuned. We'll repeat this forecast for your town right after this upcoming look at tomorrow's forecast here on the Weather Channel. to go ahead and fly into Friday and give you an idea of what July the 3rd, 1987 will be like and maybe give you a bit of a hint for the 4th of July holiday weekend. If you have some Pretty quiet, we do have some X's and they're looking at a relatively quiet night down there. Good night for the fireworks displays. And once again, a lot of folks probably heading up into the Poconos or the uh, Catskills over the weekend to do a little water skiing, maybe Lake Wallenbach. Look at radar, and we'll show you, first of all, a look at national digital radar, which will give you an idea of what's going on. Evening forecast, right. and for stuff. You know, with heat like that that you were talking about, I can think of no better place to be than out in a boat enjoying the open water. And the weekend outlook. First off, though, we'll take a look at the jet stream and how we expect Going outside in any given part of the nation, well... We have that information coming your way, but first... 22 minutes past the top of the hour. Time now for the good evening forecast. And we certainly want to be the first to let you know right now, Marty. Well, we'll check it out. We'll show you right now the radar update. Kind of give you an idea. Great, a great bit of information there about Lake Chautauqua. Chautauqua. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Well, you learned something new. Hi to you all. I hope you have a nice weekend plan, yeah, folks, definitely. in areas of Texas. As a matter of fact... On our Weather Channel map. Interesting situations going on. Now, really no tropical development now in the Atlantic, although we are well over a month. Way to describe. Hello, everyone. It's about three minutes before the top of the hour. I'm Marnie Stanier. Thanks for joining us on the Weather Channel. Big day tomorrow, the 4th of July. We'll check it out and see how things are looking in your neck of the woods for Saturday's forecast. Oswego, New York, around Lake Ontario. That'll be dying on out. <laughs> Good morning, forecast. Here's a look at your Saturday forecast, and if you have any plans to go out. George, there are tough little buggers. They don't want to die anytime soon. Mm. And they are coming in with vengeance. And you can see out. here is the jet stream. They're controlling the steering current to the air. In the northwestern United States, first of all, we'll show the Ohio Valley and the northeast as a couple of Merc... Yeah. I think you're right. I think so. Anyway... Well... Indeed, we're now, what, 34 days I can't think of a better time to do that to be in how the weather can affect your... minutes past the top of the hour. It's time now for your good morning for Honolulu. Stay tuned. The best, I guess the two best words to describe the weekend... For a while, take a break and... And it's going to be a garden report, and we'll take a look at your watering need forecast, and we start off with the Pacific North... Yeah, find out what's going to happen right through tomorrow. July 4th forecast, and a happy July 4th... ...down in Florida. Well, we have all this severe weather. That's why I'm a meteorologist, I guess. Anyway, we'll look at Saturday here on this July 4th. It really exists. First, we're going to go... Okay, thank you very much, Bonnie. Let's look at digital radar. So, Auckland, a 4th of July, Saturday weekend morning. As we look at the current weather, let's look first... ...homes developing, a garden reporting. Good morning, everybody. Dave Watson... ...idea of what you can anticipate during the next 24 hours. We'll start... Watson, Bonnie McLaughlin. Let's look what's going to be happening. The current map... ...a little bit better. ...out what it's like in the New England states right now with some rains now developing across the country and uh, things are kind of active down in Arkansas lots and lots of rain and it looks like it's going to actually continue that way let's take a look at the lawn and blisters on your hands you're in relaxing the lawns are going to stay look at current conditions across the country so, so we'll check out the Northeast and guess what I was handed a warning and it looks like it's the holiday weekend travel forecast check out the sap do here's the current map if any of you are going on vacation, we're finding strong thunderstorms dotting about the southeast on this fourth garden report, and hopefully your garden is for the 4th of July, and we'll even move into the 5th of July before it's all over with, and continue that celebration. And the holiday weekend, go into Sunday, and we'll watch Declan do a little uh, you know, fly. Northeast and show you what's going to be happening for the overnight hours. We're talking about well, today. Let's see what two Three parts of Iowa definitely looking at some trouble. Later Thanks on. a lot, Charlie. Well, first of all, check out the... It'll be real nice over the desert southwest if you don't mind the hot temperatures, but it will be dry. 
Now we're looking at Hello. Let's head to the west and put the clouds into morning up in the picture. Yeah. Good morning has been placed in effect until five o'clock central daylight time this time for southwestern Texas counties of eastern Pecos and northern Terrell. Severe thunderstorm was reported eight miles to the west of Sheffield, moving slowly towards the east along that county line. Right now, then, we're going to be looking at weekend travel forecast. It's going on across the country. It's kind of active across the northern Plains states and on into the and northern. And we are seeing lots of reports. Okay, thanks so much, Mary. And we have a couple of things showing up on radar, as Mary showed you. Lots of activity, especially up in the northern. But the jet stream yeah. pattern that will show us where the cooler temperatures will remain, and for the most well, part. Picture. See a lot of clouds here. Oh, much like of uh, well, much of the uh, countries now. Well, in Athens, Georgia, looking uh, well, pretty good. Getting a few Baltimore and all of Two local stops for you. Well, that's what we're going to be taking at after the radar. First of all, though, we're going to take you out to the Patuxent River in Maryland, where we can show you mostly ground clutter around the radar side. But as we head north of Baltimore, Washington Airport, and that little rain there during the past hour, it's come to an end. But particularly on up towards Bentley Falls, some fairly heavy showers, a few thunderstorms. They've been diminishing somewhat in intensity, though, over the last several hours as this area drifts to the east. But we've seen a lot of rain in this region the last several nights. So, again, uh, could see some local problems with some flooding or near flooding. Southwest of Richmond, Virginia, also some scattered showers. Next stop, we're going to take on into Alliance in Nebraska and show you some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. One thunderstorm cell, for example, pretty close to Lance Creek, Wyoming, or just south and southeast of that location, south of Holyoke, Colorado. And then as we head on up into southwestern Nebraska, some thunderstorms with that particular cell near Lamar, Nebraska, this entire area heading off towards the southeast. And yeah, thank you very much. Now we're going to look at that weekend forecast for you. With some hot tips for cutting summer cooling bills. your holiday weekend report. Some more forecasts for you, including tonight and Sunday, the weekend travel forecast. Off field, the weather in your house, major cities, weekend travel forecast coming up right now. And tomorrow is the 5th of July. I guess that typically comes after the 4th. And if you're traveling tomorrow, here's a look at our weekend travel forecast. And now, your holiday weekend report. I'm Marty Stanier. It's time now to take a look at the weekend travel forecast. The first, taste, first place we'll take you, Honolulu. Mechanic. Sponsored by... Here's Gay Dawson with some help for laundry stains. If you have an active family, every season offers its share of stained and spotted laundry. The trick to getting clothes like this to last more than one season is to treat the stains properly. Once the stain is set, it's almost impossible to get it out. The first rule is to treat the stain as soon as possible. Select a removal treatment suitable for the fabric and type of stain. Then, test the treatment on a small corner of the garment to be sure it won't take out color. You can make your own remover, such as a soda or a salt solution. There are also excellent, easy-to-use prepared stain removers that take care of most everyday stains on washable, color-fast clothes. These pre-spotters will be even more effective if you rub them gently into the fabric, and then wait a minute before tossing them into the wash. Finally, check to see if the stain is gone, and make any second-round treatment before you machine dry or iron the garment. Now you've got a year-round treatment plan for a year-round problem. Due to expanded severe weather coverage, some of our regularly scheduled programming may not be seen temporarily. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel for more details. Hot, so unbearably hot that you just can't stand it anymore. What you need is a cool way to beat the heat. Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck getting dirty and gritty. Better 
to beat the heat sweepstakes by watching the Weather Channel Monday through Sunday for the day's hotspot, the city with the highest daily temperature. Clues will be announced from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Watch for contest rules. Find out how to win cool prizes. Grand prize and all-inclusive week's vacation for two at the beachfront resort for couples only, Sandals Montego Bay, including round-trip airfare on Air Jamaica with more flights to Jamaica than any other airline. Ten first-place winners will enjoy summer outdoor adventure packages for two in beautiful Telluride, Colorado, complete with lodging, horseback riding, fishing, and Jeep rental. 150 second-place winners will receive Gatorade prize packages. Gatorade is Thursday for that deep-down body thirst. Stay cool this summer with Beat the Heat Sweepstakes beginning July 13th on the Weather Channel. Here's Gay Dawson with some help for laundry stains. Cast sponsored by Holiday Inn Hotels. If you're a winner, we're on your way. salutes the people with faith enough to try and patience enough to smile to all the people who still believe in dreams and in themselves here's to the winners all of us can be holiday inn welcomes and reminds you if you're a winner we're on your way Here's a look at some forecasts for cities across the country, including Honolulu. Help for laundry stains. If you Health have... sponsored by Dr. Recommended Natural Fiber Metamucil. And you could be regular for the rest of your life. Can anything be done to extend life? No, there are no known anti-aging treatments, drugs, or supplements, but your chances of staying healthy and living a long time can be improved by practicing good habits. Eat a balanced diet with plenty of fiber and maintain your desirable weight. Don't smoke. Keep it moving with exercise. Get regular health checkups. See a doctor when you detect a problem. And follow the doctor's advice when taking medications. Get enough rest. Stay involved with family and friends and keep active through work, recreation, and community activities. And when you're going out for a drive, always use your seatbelt. Avoid exposure to the sun and cold. Practice good safety habits at home to prevent accidents such as fires and falls. It also helps to have a positive attitude toward life. Plan ahead for housing and financial security. Find out what makes you happy and do it.
discover the refreshing lemonade flavor of Country Time Drink Mix. Regular or 100% NutraSweet. Not too tart, not too sweet. Oh, fancy taste is new again. Country Time taste for me and you again. Yeah. Special holiday and gift and a sunshade for your car in the Mystery City Contest. Sometime between 10 and 11 Eastern Daylight Time tonight, we'll give you a phone number to call and identify today's mystery city. The first correct caller wins seven nights at any U.S. Holiday Inn Hotel. The next 50 callers are also winners. Today's Holiday Inn Mystery City is the home of J.R. Ewing and the Cowboys. Watch for tonight's phone number and the signal to call sometime between 10 and 11 Eastern Daylight Time on the Weather Channel. Forecast, keep in mind now the overnight low, tomorrow's projected high. Now, here's Bonnie McLaughlin. Summer salad days when hot weather calls for a light touch with food. But light doesn't mean light on nutrition or variety. There are over a dozen different kinds of salad greens. Like escarole, with its crisp yellow-green leaves and slightly bitter taste, or romaine, its nutty flavor stands up to fruit or garlic dressings. The crumpled folds of spinach leaves are packed with vitamins and iron, as well as hearty flavor. Endive adds rich green color and a pungent snap. There is also bib lettuce, small-headed with a subtle taste, and green or red leaf lettuce with roughly edges that add texture and color. The darker greens have a denser vitamin concentration, so try them by mixing a few leaves in with your favorite pale lettuce. Each time you try a new green, experiment with garnishes and dressings to add the perfect taste and crunch. Be adventurous with your salads and make this year's summer salad days something special. For the Weather Channel, I'm Bonnie McLaughlin. Mmm, this is just so delicious. I just don't know when I've had salad as good as this. I just... Bacos? Even better. Bacony Bacos makes every bite better. We always begin current weather with a look at the satellite. Sponsored right? by YoPlay. Taste how good yogurt can be. Here is Jim Cantor. Ellen Traveler's forecast. Now, here is a tip from Mac the Mechanic. There, hello, in uh, Weather Weatherland. Here's Gay Dawson with some help for laundry stains. Weather, and it is... Fun. Here's Gay Dawson with some help for laundry stains. If you have... Now, here's Bonnie McLaughlin. Summer salad. With good advice from Mac the Mechanic. Now that springtime... Now, here's Bonnie McLaughlin. Well, this right here is a look at the business travel forecast for some selected cities in our country. Sponsored by Yo Play. Taste how good yogurt really can be. Forecast. Oh, here's Bonnie McLaughlin with some fresh ideas for salad. Salad. And outlook for the fire. Musty odors. Travel forecast. Ball with the current. Weekend market. outlook. And the weekend. Bonnie McLaughlin with some fresh ideas for salad. Travel forecast, the first stop, a warm Washington. Stay tuned. It's for cutting summer cooling bills. Time now to take a look at the business travel forecast. The first place we'll take you, the warm spot of the day, Washington, D.C. Right now, the temperature about 83, but you're high. Well, stay tuned and take a look. And one of the seasonal shape up is sponsored by Yo Play. Taste how good yogurt can be. Here is Bonnie McLaughlin. Weather Channel. Right. Now, here's Bonnie McLaughlin. Summer Chicago, Salad. Illinois, first stop. Continue scattered over the northern plains, northern and southern Michigan, northern Missouri, the Tennessee Valley, and scattered over much of the northeast. And I uh, thank you very much. Some of those storms, by the way, are rather intense. As a matter of fact, a severe thunderstorm warning was just issued to me for Clinton County in Michigan. Believe it or not, right around St. John's, radar indicated a very strong thunderstorm five miles south of St. John's, which is north of Lansing. Have you ever been to St. John's? No. No? I don't think I have either. I used to live up in that area, though. But I have a real potential. World events, political changes, military actions, and inflation cause gold and silver prices to move. Options purchased for a few thousand dollars now give you control of fifty to one hundred thousand dollars worth of gold and silver bullion for the next three to twelve months. Options give you the limited preset risk of your purchase price with unlimited profit potential. Options can be risky and are not for everyone. 
but they do give you an enormous opportunity to make profits without risking any additional money. Call Financial Inquiry, your one source for free purchase information, and let us put you in touch with the experts on gold and silver options. Call now. town will be along in four minutes then a look at what's ahead for the nation and your travel forecast all in minutes on the weather channel and the grand prize winner from the Portage, michigan area is barbara cochran appearing with her favorite meteorologist thank you and welcome to atlanta glad you can uh, make it down here for this very pleasant weekend all expense paid trip to atlanta and appearing here for the next hour and 45 minutes or so Having fun so far? I sure am. Talking all about weather, and you won with the word affiliate, and that will be always burned into your memory, you tell me. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever and ever. And uh, any other plans when you're down here to do anything special? Nothing special. We just want to look around and see some of the town. See some of the town. And you tell me you do actually associate with weather in the, what's the name of the radio group? It's a ham operator that re relays severe weather information. Well, it's a RACES group from the uh, Kalamazoo Sheriff's Department mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Civil Defense. And we have a group called ECON, which is spread clear across the lower southern part of the state. Of Michigan, and that will, that's been keeping you busy for the past week. Uh, the severe weather really can run you red. That's can't right. <laughs> uh, anyone you want to say hi to especially out there? I'll say hi to my daughter Candy and my sons Chris, Rick, and Dee. Chris, Rick, Dee, and Randy? Rand? No, my, my daughter Candy. Oh, Candy. Yeah. Randy, Candy, that's why I have problems with my own name. <laughs> We've got some current conditions to look at right now. Why don't you cover the West Michigan area for us? Okay, right now in Kalamazoo, the Kalamazoo area is mostly to partly cloudy, 88 degrees, humidity 47%, and the wind is southwest at 15 miles per hour. Thank you very much. It continues hot and it continues humid out there. And I'm going to take a look at the current situation. When it's hot, so unbearably hot that you just can't stand it anymore, what you need is a cool way to beat the heat. Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck getting dirty and gritty. Enter the Beat the Heat sweepstakes by watching the Weather Channel Monday through Sunday for the day's hotspot, the city with the highest daily temperature. Clues will be announced from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Watch for contest rules. Find out how to win cool prizes. Grand prize and all-inclusive week's vacation for two at the beachfront resort for couples only, Sandals Montego Bay, including round-trip airfare on Air Jamaica, with more flights to Jamaica than any other airline. Ten first-place winners will enjoy summer outdoor adventure packages for two in beautiful Telluride, Colorado, complete with lodging, horseback riding, fishing, and Jeep rental. 150 second place winners will receive Gatorade prize packages. Gatorade is Thursday for that deep down body thirst. Stay cool this summer with Beat the Heat Sweepstakes beginning July 13th on the Weather Channel. George Elliott with Barbara Cochran, once again our grand prize winner for our cable calling contest, the grand prize being an all expense paid trip to Atlanta, three days, two nights, all meals paid, transportation paid, the flight of course was paid, and a bit of spending money too, not uh, a bad deal, huh? And all the fun of being here too. And having fun. Yeah. I'm glad you are. Uh, don't worry about the lights, those blotches, uh, <laughs> mine are getting smaller right now as a matter of fact. Uh, um, we want to take a look at the weather in West Michigan. That's where you're from. You're from Portage, Michigan, specifically. That's where you uh, reside at this time, that's right? That's right. I used to hang out there myself in West Michigan. And used to watch I have best wishes and greetings from everybody in Kalamazoo well, County for you. Thank you. And uh, some people in California and some in Pennsylvania. Oh, well, thank you very much. All over. Thank I'm glad they weren't much. letters. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, a uh, very nice gesture to do. Thank you very much. Why don't we take a look at the West Michigan weather right now? Why don't you do that? Okay, tonight, partly cloudy with a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm, low of 70. Saturday and Sunday, same hot story. Partly cloudy, slight chance of isolated afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Highs around 90, lows around 70. And now Bill has a look at some radars. Okay, thanks a lot. 